Hey guys, it's uh, Chris here back again for another uh, quick and informative uh, service review video. Uh, this will be a weapons related video today because what I have in front of me here is my finally completed Vepper 12 side folding shotgun. Uh, this will probably be the uh, the last uh, you want to call bench review video for this one specifically because I finally got everything that I, what I actually wanted done to this uh, shotgun completed on. So this will be the final bench review for this one specific shotgun. So. I'll give you a, a quick panoramic uh, shot of the actual shotgun right now, specifically before I start the video, so you can see it how it's completely uh, finally done for me at least. And here's the other side as well too for you guys. There you go. Here's the back side, and there is the front side as well too. The reason why I was making this video was because specifically um, about two weeks ago. I uh, sent this thing down to Distant Arms because I originally wanted to have a uh, uh, custom um, custom guns um, carbon fiber lower handguard installed on. However, uh, I was informed by the owner that the, um, the item was no longer available in stock. So uh, what I did was I went with a uh, the actual Distant Arms aluminum uh, lower handguard instead. So I basically just swapped uh, the order for a different item specifically on a website. So I just want to give a review. Uh, what my opinion was of the actual quality and time and anything else like that for that so um, overall it's a great item here specifically it was done in a relatively short amount of time uh, it was only down at Disney for about I think about a week and I think it was actually under a week time so they installed the uh, lower handguard plus he also had to uh, trim your upper gas uh, gas tube as well too on here for that so they uh, repainted the top of the actual sight block where I have my red dot here as well too installed so it is that and looks 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 great so I definitely appreciate that uh, the other thing I ordered down here as well too was uh, this this item right here this is a new uh, custom guns 1.0 full choke external choke I ordered that specifically for this one gun because um, I have two other chokes I have a Molot 0.5 modified choke and I also have a uh, extended length uh, Molot 1.0 full choke because uh, they have two different types of uh, chokes. Uh, they're actually short from Molot because uh, if, if you're familiar with the Molot chokes, they have small ones that are about 2.75 inches and they have the uh, extended ones that are about like 6 inches long. Well, they made a, a second model of the short chokes out there. It was uh, slightly longer, I'd say about uh, almost like 2 and 15, 16 inch long. And I'm going to be doing a follow-up review video here probably the next uh, few weeks when I get some time to go to my cabin. I'm going to be doing a comparison uh, comparison to trash video between all three chokes because the reason why <clears throat> I bought this choke right here specifically was because uh, Custom Guns was claiming that uh, this one's supposed to be uh, uh, you know, called better quality or uh, more technologically advanced than the um, original OEM Vepper Mola choke and it should uh, be uh, what we'll call more accurate or yield a uh, overall better grouping for your groups when you're shooting at any kind of uh, distance and stuff like that. So I'll be testing out uh, probably three different types of ammunition. I'll be testing out the Winchester white box. I'll be checking out the um, uh, Federal 3 Dram uh, target loads and I'll be trying out the uh, Winchester AA probably about uh, the, the, the uh, 3 Dram equivalent or the um, 11, 1145 uh, seven and a half shot and number eight shot and we'll be uh, testing at a distance of about 15 20 yards and see what kind of groupings are so we're doing a comparison and, com and uh, con a comparison and contrast between the two uh, well, the 1.0 full chokes and we'll compare them between the 0.5 modified choke and see what kind of uh, which one yields the best at a specific given distance of, of my range because my range is only about 25 yards up there so I have a relatively small amount of area right here so I, I can't really put it like 40 yards and have it all the way way out there so it's going to be a relatively short distance and we'll, we'll definitely see which one yields a better overall grouping and what size it actually has because I originally bought this because I want to have a nice uh, tight grouping for uh, you know like shooting um, you know, like small tin cans and stuff like that and basically uh, having a I want to call a, uh, a modified gun and you can also use it for like home defense and stuff like that so Overall, I'm really satisfied with uh, with this in arm to deal with the gun here. It looks great. So here's another shot here as well too, so you can see it. The lower handguard definitely makes the gun look really professional, and it, it looks like it's ready to go for any kind of three-gun shooting competition challenges out there for that. So I definitely give them a two thumbs up in 
the mayor that uh, they, they treated me great. They got it done in a relatively short amount of time, and it was it was it was a, um, a good product overall here, uh, specifically for that. Uh, this in arms is also, as far as I know, the own, only importer uh, for the the uh, custom guns uh, chokes right here. So if you're looking for a external choke for your uh, Vepper 12 shotgun, I recommend uh, calling them up or visiting their website, and you can, can go online and buy these things because I definitely recommend getting these things because. Uh, if you don't have any choke on your gun out there and you're shooting a distance like 15, 20, 30 yards, you're going to have a target. Uh, you're basically, you're, you're, if you have a, a backstop and you've got a silhouette target on it, you'll be having the bird shot go three or four or five feet all over the entire back shot. So it's definitely uh, a good idea to get a external choke, whether it be a 0 0.5, uh, 0 0.75, or the full choke for your gun because it will definitely increase the accuracy if you're going to be using any kind of um, optics like what I have on here because typically I went to my cabin and uh, I zeroed all my optics for my external um, chokes at about, about 15 meters up there so give it uh, you get you basically get a real good zero at 15 meters right there and it's excellent for uh, close quarters uh, shooting if you want to have it uh, uh, specifically set for that kind of distance right there for that so overall uh, the guns in great uh, shape right now it looks great and uh, it runs great too. There's a top down right there as well too. There's another side shot. I also have the AR-15 stock on here as well too. Uh, if you want to um, uh, hear about that video, let's go back on my videos. You can see the um, uh, LAC stock adapter I had installed in this thing as well too. This thing is the AR-15 to Vepper 12 stock adapter. This thing works. It uh, works great too. <clears throat> There's another side shot as well too for that stock adapter. And there you go, a nice big panoramic shot right here for you guys. There you go. So I hope you liked the video, and the gun looks great, and I cannot be any more satisfied with how it turned out because uh, it, it took me a few years to get this thing to where it is currently right now. So if you're going to be buying your Vepper 12, I recommend contacting Distant Firearms down in Texas, and um, they, hook, they hook me up, they treat me great. So I really don't have any complaints about it whatsoever. So if anybody has any comments, questions, whatnot about this video, uh, feel free to call or um, just, just, just uh, drop me a message and I'll try to get back as soon as possible about anything in this video or if I miss something and you want me to highlight it in the actual comments or questions section, guys. So I'll see you guys. Have a nice day.